Hello everybody and welcome to WTL Wrestling Lockdown here on the W3 of Network. Thank you so much for joining me as we continue to bring you WTL content every single week. Every may be quarantined, may all be in lockdown, we can still bring you Wrestling Lockdown every single Sunday. We hope as well that you've watched WTL Unlocked that we gave you here on the WTL Network for absolutely free, never before seen matches. If you haven't seen it, go onto the network page. Have a look, find it, subscribe while you're there and you'll never miss an episode. We've got the Fans' Choice show coming up very soon. Uh, polls for that are available on our social media. You can vote for what matches you want to see. And of course, speaking of uh, getting fans involved, you can buy a fan support package off the WTL website. If you want to help keep us ticking over, there's places to suit all budgets and you get a whole bunch of things that variously can include cheap front row tickets, uh, DVD sign posters and personalised video messages from WTL stars. A whole bunch of things, head up the website and have a look at that. But first of all, let's have some wrestling action because that's obviously why you're here. Let's have a tag team contest. The very good Mr. Ewan G. Mackey and Taylor Bryden have, as you know, reformed their team. They're as good as ever, if not even better than they were. We've got a tough task ahead of them here this week because they are facing not only Christopher Saint but the exile Luke Aldridge as well. And let's not forget it was Aldridge that took the Wrestling Showdown Championship away from Taylor Bryden. So there's a lot of history in this one. Emily Hayden is patrolling ringside. So what is going to happen when these two teams meet? Let's get down to Ringsy, then we'll find out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Fordyce here with your wrestling showdown. We have a tag team contest for you. And there is uh, the very good Mr. G. Mackey in the centre of the ring, just disrobing. Showed me those fantasies coming to life there. And he's teaming up with Tier Zero Taylor Bryden. Uh, the anti meta they call themselves, the former Disco Biscuits, they are a hell of a tag team. Which uh, we formed towards the end of last year, and uh, showing that time has not diminished their skills whatsoever. Uh, and they are taking on the first time pairing of uh, the Exile Luke Aldridge, just waiting patiently on the ring apron. And uh, the self proclaimed patron saint of selfishness, Christopher Sain, who is jaw jacking with anybody with an earshot. Obviously they've got the women's champion Emily Hayden with them as well. And of course as I'm sure you know, that is all Saints doing here in Hayden. Bringing the sensational scene birds to W3L. And that all came about uh, not that long ago, it was about six weeks ago. And oh look at this! Immediately Hayden distracting Bryden and Mackey, Saint and Aldridge getting the jump on them. I was about to say that six weeks ago it was that lumberjack match and Emily Hayden taking on Anastasia for the Women's Championship. Of course, Saint interfered, cost Anastasia the match, and Emily Hayden retained the title. And I've seen them officially cement their alliance here in WTL. And the referee making a, a poor fist of uh, getting one of the Saint and Aldridge team out of the ring. Go for a double suplex, but Taylor Bryden's there to make the save, set the softer landing than they have had. Drop kicks. And Aldridge in the apron of Saint finds him in the corner. Yep. They go for a ride right across the ring, and there's the team. What a lovely trip! Mackey just took the ankles out of Saint and he dropped it upon him. They have become such a fluid team of Bryden and Mackey, particularly considering how long it's been since the last team regularly. And they're so fluid. We're still at the start of February, challenging for the Tag Team Championship against TG Rage and Krieger. Went to the time limit draw and it was a tremendous contest. And I'm pretty sure he'll be up for another uh, Tag Team title opportunity at some point. As Mackie descends upon St. East to have uh, met here on a Wrestling Showdown in the past. And the fluid teaming there, the rapid tags. Usually the key to victory, keep one of your opponents in your half of the ring and always keep the fresh man in. And uh, this is all they're doing. Bride and Mackie working like a very well oiled machine. 
It was Christopher Saint. He's uh, the one of the to suffer it. Now we saw him in tag team action just two weeks ago, challenging for the tag titles. He uh, joined forces with the Deadly Tormentor. Things didn't quite go according to plan, but that is because Anastasia chased Emily Hayden away. Saint went after her to try and uh, save Hayden. And he left the Tormentor on his own. So um, apparently in this tag team contest, it's supposed to be Saint and the Tormentor against Mackie and Bryden, but uh, the Tormentor refused. He didn't have anything to do with them. But the XL look all did more than happy to step up. Oh, Bryden ducks under him. Oh, nearly clobbered Hayden. And gets shoved into the post for his trouble. That's one of the benefits, I guess, if you're St. Aldridge, of having Hayden at ringside. But it's to the detriment of Bryden and Mackey. Because it's that extra body they've got to keep an eye on. Seems to reach across the tag. Just slugs Mackey just in case. We saw him at the start of March battling KJ Nitro. And the older just last known children in February, challenging for the Wrestling Showdown Championship against Kevin Williams. And this is a, a new idea for him to go after the, uh, the Tag Team Championship. I mean, the sensational scene birds currently consist of Christopher Saint and Emily Hayden. And I do wonder if he was there on a recruitment drive. He possibly looking to get a third member in, uh, if it's possible. Fingering right down the back. And said the man has been appearing more and more regularly for W3L. If you watched our uh, W3L Unlocked special that we gave you here on the W3L Network not all that long ago, kind of goes straight for a cover. So Brighton bounced at the corner. Uh, Christopher Saint was involved in a rumble. Just Matthew Brighton was on that event as well, as was Hayden actually. The XL battled the Joey Legend at a five year anniversary special. Somebody else, Christopher Saints, fought in WCL. Bryden trying for that crucifix. Oh, turns at sunset flip. Aldridge trying to stay upright. Breaks the ground. Oh, and Bryden moved. But look at this. Hooks the arms into the crucifix. Doesn't quite keep him down, but it's had a nice sequence there from Taylor Bryden, able to convert from one potential pinfall to another. talked about how Mackie and Bryden, former tag team champions, uh, Bryden, arguably the most decorated tag team wrestler in WCL, five championship reigns over the years, one of which was with Mackie many years ago, it's been so long since they were a team, and it's like riding a bike, they've never lost it, but, it has to be said, their opponents, both decent as Christopher Saint just distracts his referee, and Aldridge gets a shot in. And now so does Hayden as well. And Mackey's seen enough, he's not happy. You can see what's happening over the referee's shoulder. Of course, this just means that if distracted and Saint can put the boots to Bryden. He and Aldridge are no slouch in the tag ranks. A good chunk of Christopher Saint's career has been in tag team matches with a variety of partners, so he's very flexible in that respect. He can very much team with anybody and have success, it seems. Mr. Aldridge had a near three month reign as WCL Tag Team Champion. And certainly a horse he would like to climb back on at some point. So that's the butterfly suplex and went straight for the cover. Knows the, the benefit of trying to pin Taylor Bryden as soon as you can. Because otherwise you leave yourself open and Bryden's got some great moves in his arsenal. There's that combination of strikes. And he's all over Aldridge and drops him down and this is a good moment for Bryden he can get a moment's respite, get some breaths in and hopefully crawl towards Mackey and then comes Saint and out goes Saint right to the floor it's an uncomfortable landing for him will Bryden get across? he's only a couple of feet away oh Mackey was pulled off the ring apron by Christopher Saint and now Aldridge has wrapped himself around Bryden's leg to prevent him getting there. Look how he crawls over his corner and makes a tag to Christopher Saint and drops the elbow on Taylor Bryden. You can't condone what they did, but you've got to admire the strategy. Saint was flung out the ring and decided to take Mackey away, so Bryden had nobody to tag. The 
if you're a long time WFL fan, again, maybe you're not that familiar with Christopher Saint, who, like I said before, we've seen him around a lot more recently. He's a, a man that's uh, fought some uh, big, oh, big over a cover again. He's fought all the top people that you could think of in Scottish wrestling. He's many of the stars of WFL. Um, he's faced American independent wrestler Joey Ryan. He's even wrestled Japanese wrestling legend Ultimo Dragon. And Joey Ryan and Ultimo Dragon are about as far apart in styles as you could possibly get. But Saint has battled them all. So this man does have plenty of chops, as they say. Getting on just to hold Bright back. Just runs right into him. As I mentioned before. We saw Mackie, we saw Brian, we saw Saint, even saw Hayden all involved in WCL Unlocked to give you here on the network just to tide you over while we're all waiting for our quarantine restrictions to be lifted and the world to go back to normal. Also looking for the Fans Choice Programme that's going to be coming up on the network soon as well. Taylor Bryden, after hitting that drop, he needs to make the tag. Imagining he's been watching Mike's morning workout on the WCL Network. Staying in as tip top shape as possible. Not all of her live events are currently postponed until later in the year. Saint nearly went to the wrong corner. Sees it he do. There's a tag on both sides, and Mackey takes the elevator at the top floor. Aldridge helping his partner up. And Mackey throws himself at Luke Aldridge. Maybe not in the way the Exo would have liked. But he descends upon him. Saint comes in. Mackey with two feet of foot. Mackey crashes into Luke Aldridge and Saint he's had to stand on the apron for the bulk of this match as Mackey he's had to watch everything that's happened watch it all going on as Brian's been double teamed triple teamed at times and Mackey has just waited shows the, the patience he's got though he knows tag team wrestling so he knew there's no point in getting too frustrated and distracting the ref just bided his time and now he's taking on two men at once and they go head to head. You've got Saint in the sights. And drops him down with that Z13. The climber also a big man to be moving around. With 18 stone, but Mackey plants him with that swing in DDT. Which results in a count of two. Hayden jumper on the apron, obviously seeing that her two men are not doing too well. The Mackey and Hayden teamed up on the, the night that uh, Hayden lost the women's champion to Jayla Dunn. Here comes Anastasia. She's on a quest to get that women's title away from Hayden and has been trying to prevent her from interfering. And he's chasing her backstage. Now this is what he did with the Tormentor. Saying that this before he ran off and left the Tormentor to face Craig and Rage all in his own and now Luke Aldridge has been left with the anti-meta and hits the wallop and Mackey's out cold, Luke Aldridge wins this, oh my god how on earth did Mackey kick out that Aldridge absolutely levelled him so he's going to win this match single handedly but the Seambirds have run off Saint seems more concerned about preventing Emily Hayden from getting her just desserts from Anastasia than he is about winning matches here well, went for the DD6, but gets turned in the misty flip. And a tag, and Bryden's had the chance to somewhat recover. And he ascends the top turn buckle with a frog splash. Lands upon Luke Aldridge and wraps up this contest. Your winners, the team of Ewan G. Mackey and Taylor Bryden. So Mackie and Brian win another big tag team contest here this week on Wrestling Showdown. Taylor Bryden and the very good Mr. Yunki Mackie win that contest. But yet again, Christopher Saint abandoning his tag team partner. Not the first time we've seen that happen. And of course, Anastasia chasing Emily Hayden away. Well, I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the WCO management have been quick to act on this. And in light of what happened there, in light of what happened in the tag team championship match, couple of weeks ago and what happened in the Lumberjack match that right here next week on Wrestling Lockdown we're going to be seeing Emily Hayden defending the Women's Championship against Anastasia. It's one you do not want to miss. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already 
and you'll be guaranteed to be notified when that episode, next week's episode, is released. Now, I mentioned before that maybe we can't bring you live next. We can continue to bring you stuff here on the network. There's wrestling locked in every single week. We brought you WCL Unlocked recently. You can go and watch that. Some amazing never before seen matches on that. We've got the Fans Choice Show. Go on our social media, vote for what matches you want to see on it. And have our website as well because you can buy t-shirts, you can buy exclusive w DVDs. We'll send them out to you. I want to thank Crafty Connoisseur who are sponsoring all WTL events this year. They are still active, the website's active. If you go on and make a purchase, it helps support them. Use the code STAY SAFE and you get free shipping for any order over £20, which is not too bad. So you can help support them in this time. And you can help support us as well by picking up a fan support package. Different tiers, each come to a different price. You got a variety of things that can variously include things like DVD sign posters. You can get uh, ringside tickets for, uh, frankly, hardly any money whatsoever. And you can get personalised video messages from WCL stars. Go on the website, I'll tell you all about it. And you can find that at wclwrestling.com. Have a look, pick up a fan support package and sign up to the mailing list while you are there. Give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, join us over on Instagram. And of course subscribe to this very channel if you haven't already. You'll be notified every time we put something up. And we've got some cool things coming up in the not too distant future. So make sure you have subscribed. You can use that there hashtag if you wish to engage with us. And why not? Because we're all sitting around with nothing else to do. So get in touch. Tell us what you like and what you want to see in the coming weeks here on Wrestling Lockdown. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, please stay safe. Please don't go out unless you have to. The longer this drags on, the longer before we get more live W3L action, and that is what we want, everything to get back to normal. So let's all get through this together. Thank you for joining me here again, as you do every week on W3 Network. Please stay safe, please take care of yourselves, and see when all this is over, and we'll see you next week here on Wrestling Showdown.